Hi guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. So we got a map device. She wants me to put this jungle valley map in, which is maps modifiers to quantity also affect. I mean, should I modify it actually? Mm, you might as well just augment it at the very least. Well, I need a, I need to get a, an augment orb. So let me go get that. So let's go get that. Uh, what the hell is for each you want? Uh, he's just telling me I'm his babe. All right, so we're gonna add an augment <laughs> orb. So this is one thing you can have. So I added uh, players at fifty percent less area of effect. Now you might think, oh shit, you just added a negative mod. That's bad. Actually, it's not, uh, because the way this game works is that um, the the map quantity and rarity are just went up, or pack size or something went up. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, but um, it's actually you want to add uh, all of the mods on maps are basically negative, but they all they all add. Uh, some level of item quantity and rarity and what that does for us is it makes better items in the map drop so that's why you kind of do it so you ready Pat let's fucking do it so we're supposed to meet Zahn in the map one small step still sane exile look around you exile this isn't Aurea or even Rayclast I don't even think it's our world it's somewhere else entirely, and I need your help. There's something out here, in the maps. Something that's shaping things. I can't quite describe it, but the very fabric of reality ripples with its presence. I know, it almost looks familiar, but the creatures here, they behave differently. More aggressive, more dangerous. And if we can travel into and out of here, it's only a matter of time until they do the same. I need to find the source of these harmful manifestations before they spill into Rayclast. And I need your help to do it. There's a powerful presence somewhere nearby. Kill it before it grows any stronger. Then meet me back at our world. We have much to discuss. All right, so she's uh, wasted one of her portals like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so do we get um? Did it, did our resistances drop yet or no? Yes, it did. Actually, if you look oh, in the chat, it says it. Oh, one second. You're surrounded by shit, by the way. I, I know. I'm trying to look at this. Uh, so yeah, permanently been weakened by Katava's merciless aff affliction. Now have a total oh. of negative sixty percent to all resistances and a uh, hundred percent increased cost of all skills. Um, so that now means, uh, yeah, so resistance is even lower now. So when Pat's not near me, Pat, get the fuck away from me. Uh, wow, I have almost no resistances, so I can't depend upon Pat. Now, if you have resistance around me, uh, maxed. Okay. Barely maxed, though. I have really crappy resistances. So, maxed or super maxed? Uh, I mean, they're just. They're super maxed. Okay, cool. So the way this works uh, with resistance is in the end game. Um, so th we are now in officially Path of Exile's end game. So this, they have a new way of introducing it. It's apparently now kind of more tied into the story. But the way you do this is you roll maps with alchemy orbs, with chance orbs, or well not chance orbs really, but you know you just you roll the maps now, and you're trying to get good items and stuff because you're trying to get like neat resistances, uh, you know, get currency, you know, roll your own stuff and whatever. Uh, that's kind of the point of Path of Exile's endgame, so like these, c and that's what the map system is for, so like I just drop, like more maps will drop occasionally. We'll talk more about how the Atlas works when we get out, because uh, that's kind of the, the point of it. But like, there's different tiers of maps that get more di progressively more difficult. Um, generally speaking, resistances at this point are extremely important, more important than life, uh, I would say. I am not doing too well with resistances, at the, unfortunately, at the moment. Luckily, Pat is filling in that gap. But some ways you can kind of fix your resistances up is like pure developments. You can get some passive points in the tree because there's you just look for places like if I go here and I go like resist. I type that in. I mean I have one here. There's some right there. This has some here. Hopefully Pat's take care of all that. There's some right here. It may. I, I, it's like I said. It may actually really be worth it for you to just invest into some of those resistances because um, you you really. You really want max resist when you're doing this stuff. Um, I don't have it right now. I actually probably probably not really planning on doing this character. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it further. It depends. I want to see how my other character pans out because I like that guy. <laughs> and here's the Harbinger League. Still, it's still in full effect. I, I did in, like it's in more effect in the maps than it is anywhere else. I like how easy of a time we had with the top, <laughs> or at least me. 
I mean, I, I was running around with the chicken with its head cut off because he he hated my ass. All, it's all that enfeeble and shit that, that really made that happen. And the fortify. The fortify was like a last minute godsend. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Oh, by the way, uh, slight change from the way we usually do things. Uh, when you get into endgame mapping, you explore every little nook and cranny. You uh, unturn every rock and stuff. And, like, you look at all the items, because, like, here's, here's the thing about this. This is... This is Path of Exile's endgame, and this is basically like the reason why we weren't before overturning every nook and cranny is because it's kind of lower level stuff. We're now in like level 68 monster level areas, so we're actually really high up there now. But the thing about the maps is that, um, as you can tell, you need to find them. They're finite, there's a finite amount of them. Now it's not just like you load up a, a, a world and then, you know, so you load up a zone and you go just go farm it. No. This is, like, you're actually having to roll these maps yourself, or you have to spend currency on them. So you should try and get everything out of them. So, this includes killing everything, because it may drop, like, a nice piece of currency. Um, you never know, right? Um, they could drop something nice, they could give you they give you good experience, you know, depending upon what level you're at. Yeah, basically, um, the harder you roll the maps, the more items you can get from each monster in it. Yeah. So, if you're spending a lot to roll the map, then you need to get your money's worth. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so you just want to you want to make sure that you kind of get everything out of it that you can. I mean, there's gonna be eventually a point where like you have like a shit ton of tier ones. You're like, oh, I don't really give a fuck about tier ones and stuff. Or maybe like you know, there, there's it, it depends upon where you sit. And, and right now, even though that this league is about a month old, I'd say at this point because this LP has been going on for a while, um, we're very much technically early in the <gasps> league. Oh, we got a breach there. <gasps> I love breaches. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Even though a, I don't wear breaches, we have not seen these yet. I'm gonna just load it up. Oh man! All right. I can't do this just yet. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, so am I. I'm just gonna hold. I don't even know what's going on right now. This is such a fucking mess. I'm just gonna keep killing stuff until I can't kill stuff no longer. Oh my god, coming. breaches are still such a clusterfuck! Yeah. Alright. So. Uh, <laughs> this is our swolf text. Yeah. So we got. We want to pick up all the maps because the maps are always good to pick up. I'm picking up these uh, sponges of Zoif, Zoif and Hyven, uh, because they're nice currency items that we'll probably use at some point in the end game. Because usually everything kind of serves a purpose at some point. Yeah, in the I hold game. alt and then it's like fucking. My no, if you, full of fuck. so so far, guys, it, through the entire game, we've been using something called an item filter. And just for shits and giggles, Mike, turn off your item filter for a second. Where because th this part is going to be funnier than shit. Yeah, guys, there we go. <laughs> so I dropped an exalt in here. Mike, I want you to find this. Yeah, good luck with that. And this is how <laughs> this is actually how the game used to be until they added this. Uh, which is a very much needed feature, let me tell you. When I hold alt, it actually does show all the items, but they're very just small on the ground. Yeah. Which is... Very fortunate for us. By the way, so um, you kind of have to decide what you want to pick up because if you haven't noticed, like the the, the we came in through uh, six portals. It's always six portals, and me and Pat have to share those portals. And we want we want to finish the map. Um, if you die, you don't spawn back in the map. You spawn outside the map, and you got to use one of the portals to get back in. Once all the portals are gone, you cannot access the map anymore. So, really. Uh, you want to basically decide what's the best to pick up because my inventory is already getting full I can't just make town runs, you know constantly and also pay attention to how many monsters remain because that also tells you if you're missing It's always in the top corner in the maps as well. Well, when, yeah when you have it there um, Usually when it says there's one left it means that it's just the boss left um, But it looks like that we may have missed a pack somewhere but we may not even care about that, because that's just kind of the way this goes. What happened to every nook and cranny, Mike? I don't know. It, it, your, vi your mileage may vary. I, I just, you know, everybody plays it, the game a little bit differently. And so we're going to go into a loom chamber now. Wait for me, bitch boy. 
Yeah, because there was some monsters in here. I mean, I don't know if that's that was them, but we'll see at the end. The fucking Neo. Ah, oh, another crystal orb map. Yeah, we've been getting really good with this. The Queen of the Great Tangle. So this is the map boss of this place. And the map boss is now dead. We also got a uh, we got a rare map from that. Nice. Oh, rare maps are something interesting. All right, so we got that. So we got the bonus objective and the jungle valley map. Uh, we'll see what the bonus objective is in a little bit. Do, do we? Yeah, there's 13 monsters still left, but I don't care. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go talk to Zana. We'll talk more about the mapping system in this game. There's something I need to show you. I have spent some time out exploring the maps, and despite their apparent randomness, there are threads that connect them. Threads we should follow. Whatever you did out there has rippled inwards, making the connections clearer. The more we understand these connections, the more each of these maps can offer us, and the closer we'll be to finding out what is twisting them. This is the Atlas of Worlds. And we can use it to track these connections. We can use it to chart a path. I've picked up on a series of extremely strange disturbances out there. I've never seen anything like this before. We need to find out what's going on, but I'm struggling to pinpoint the source. It's as if... Well, it's as if someone or something is intentionally obscuring these events. When you can, I need you to venture out and see what you can find. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. Obviously, everything out there is unusual to some extent, but the kinds of disturbances I'm talking about will be impossible to miss. I understand you've created a little hideout for yourself. If you have the room, cohabitation could allow us to strengthen our alliance. What do you think? Alright. So, we got it to level 2, actually, instantly. That's interesting. That's Stay actually, safe. yeah. So we get to bring her to ride up. By the way, this is definitely one of the masters you want to bring in with you. Uh, so, uh, Vreach is pretty good. Uh, Hack is pretty good. Elrion's pretty good. Oscar I think Vagan's gotta go. Get the fuck out, piece of shit. He's been bumming around my hideout for too long. Glad you made it back. I think this will work out nicely for us. There's even room. Alright, so we can go in there. And we can head right back to our hideout. I'd like to keep my map device here, if you'll allow me. It's a family heirloom of sorts that I spent much of my youth trying to repair, and I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I let it be damaged somehow. Of course, you're welcome to use it as much as you like, and I think it would look rather fetching sitting here. Alright, so she Stay just gave safe. me a map device, and now instead of going back to that dumbass place all the time to do maps, we can do them right here. And this is essentially Path of Exile's endgame. It's actually not a bad endgame, it's pretty good, because, I mean, at this point it's like, they don't want to make more content like just going through these random places, so what they do is they create randomly generated areas with a, with a boss at the end, and you roll the maps so they're all different, they always have like different kinds of monsters in there and things like that. And that is essentially what you do until basically you get to like super end game, which is like um, there's certain things that you can do. You can kill at Zuri, which is um, those fra fragments that we saw. These uh, sacrifice at dusk. We have a couple more, I think, in the guild stash somewhere. No, we don't. Um, we have sacrifice at uh, so we can do at Zuri. Uh, we can do her quest line. So her quest line basically says uh, it says. Uh, You've completed the Versus Labyrinth, what else, uh, but could there yet be more secrets to unlock? There's also the Shaper. So, uh, there's two things uh, that we have to do. So she has to, she wants us to find uh, the strange source of the disturbances in the map. That's one part of it. Uh, so that, that it is actually an end game quest line. It is extremely difficult to complete. Most people will not complete it. Uh, I mean, I've never been able to do it on my own. Uh, and that should tell you a lot. There's also the Eternal Labyrinth, which is, um, there's all these unknown areas that we have, and this actually has a little cost to get in there. And that this is the endgame labyrinth, and that's actually uh, related to mapping. You'll find uh, labyrinth trials inside maps, uh, and then you can you have to complete six of them, and then you can access the eternal labyrinth, and then get your last point, uh, last two points into um, 
into your your basically your uh, little ascendancy tree there. So that's 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 some end game goals that you have for uh, that they have for you here. Uh, what else do they have? Um, I mean, mostly it's about that mapping. But as I said, you want to get your resistances to max, and you want to get like your survivability good, so you can actually do some of that end game content. I mean, as I said, uh, as I sit right now, it's not good. <laughs> this is not <laughs> this is not great. My gear has been subpar. And like I said, you just roll it onto rings and things like that. It's probably the, this ring right here is probably the the big issue. And you get some like you know, as I said, you can probably buy it from people or just get like a nice uh, unique item that that has like maybe like a, what's that thing called the gold rim cap. Gold rim. Yeah, that's that's a good one if you want to find something. There's a lot of like little resistance kind of hold me overs that you can get. But at this point, you're more doing the hold me overs and you're looking for kind of good items in the maps and things like that. So. Um, I don't know how much of the mapping we're going to be doing, probably with maybe my other character, because I actually like that guy a little bit more, uh, but oh, we'll see how it gets when we get there. But like I said, with this guy, I, um, I hope he didn't do Frostblades actually in a way, because um, I think that the last point for the Ascendancy is really shit for this, but uh, honestly, it's not bad either. I mean, uh, this guy, you can definitely make it to a lot of the endgame content with this, with uh, with Frostblades. With this guy, period, uh, you can get to a lot of anything. You get, like, Earthquake or Sunder. Um, it's a fucking fabulous class, and I've pretty much set you up and how to do it. As I said, just avoid, just don't go here like I did. Just stay around here. And you just get whatever you feel is not, uh, whatever you feel is good. And honestly, the way it usually goes is maybe there's going to be some point where the, the, the basically your character falls off or something. Um, and in which case, you know, you can just reroll another character or something. You just go like, you know what? I, I tried the duelist. I tried smashing things in the face. Maybe I want to be uh, a fruity spellcaster, you know, and or you want to nice. be a summoner or something, you know. And you'll you'll see the ups and downs of all the characters. Maybe you'll Google some builds and stuff. But now, guess what? You're into the game and you're here forever. So have fun. You're here. So with that being said, um, I guess we're down to what do we think of the game, Pat? Or did I forget something? That you want to mention. No, I think you covered the majority of what Path of Exile really is. So, what did you think of X five through ten, uh, and all the interesting new content and stuff? Um, I think the only issue I had was fighting Deodre and Malagaro and that whatever the other guy was like nine times. But overall, I've really enjoyed the introduction of the new axe, and it really helps. I think, like. Before you had to play through the game three times, like you do Act 1, 2, and 3, and then 4, and then you do Act 1, 2, 3, and 4, but harder, and then you do Act 1, 2, 3, and 4, but even harder, and it, yeah, it got a little boring, it got a little stale, especially if you were playing one or two or three characters a league, and then you've seen Act 1 literally 600 times, but with the way that they do it now, I really like it, it's... It's very good, especially for a free game with the amount of work they put into it. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with what they've done. What about you, Mike? I'll, I'm going to say uh, it's definitely an improvement over the previous having to play through the game three times. Um, it felt uh, it felt relatively fresh. I mean, you, I, I'll say that I found Act 5 and Act 10 to be extremely short. Yeah. They, they, well, I don't know if they could have added more to it, but they could have done something, I'm sure. I mean, it's, it's, but it's hard to say because, I mean, they added five more acts on top of the act five. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think I can really complain all that much about that uh, aspect of it. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of boss fights. Uh, I found it kind of odd that I was able to just face tank Katava, though. Uh, but I, I'm gonna I, guess. I, and I and I think that is, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I am partly to blame for that. Yes, it, it definitely was you, piece of shit. I would say that boss fight would probably be a lot harder if I was uh, not having like maxed out resist. Oh no, sorry, above maxed out resists, and uh, uh, all the damage buffs and uh, all the leeching I was getting from that. I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Um, but hey, you know what? It's more power to us, I guess. Um, kind of weird how that worked out, but yeah, I guess I guess it was very not very painful because I mean the minute we did Merc Labyrinth, I kind of figured that, you know, I figured that we were op op as balls. Um, I really did like Act Eight. I, I think Act Eight was my favorite. I liked the fact that you kind of made it through Lunaris and Solaris again. I mean, I you know what? And this is gonna sound really weird. I really really liked Act Six. 
the it was uh, the one where you start back in Lionize Watch, and then you eventually make your way back to the prison, and then back through the forest, and then you go to the Brian King. I don't know. I really like that act. It, for for me, that was kind of like the star act for me, like yeah. of the new act. Yeah, that one was pretty good too. That one that one wasn't so bad either. I can't I can't really complain about that one. Oh, I can if I really wanted to. I think Act Seven was the weakest. Uh, I, like I don't know. I mean, I like Act Seven too, but I feel like not not in Act Six or Seven, but definitely Nine. Because okay, when we got to the Oasis, there's no waypoint, there's no nothing in there, and it was very odd. Yeah, that one was fucking weird. Like they've done really good at filling in all the side areas, adding lore, adding the, but there there wasn't even any lore there. So I was kind of wondering what's going on with that. And the, and the monster level isn't even isn't even that substantial there either. No. So I don't I don't really understand the point of that. Whatever it does it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I mean I can't say much. I've got like probably close to. 3,000 hours in this game, and I know Mike is eclipsing <laughs> well over that. Um, probably just about the same amount, so... Probably similar, yes. What um, can we really complain about a game that we hadn't... We didn't have to pay any money for, and yet we've spent, that, like, that much time on? Well, I'll say I'm, like... I, I've reached that point, like, it's a it's a wonderful game, uh, and I hope that you guys play it, if you haven't... If you don't already. But it's it's one of those things... I'm, I'm starting to feel the burnout from it a little bit. But this actually does revitalize it slightly. Because occasionally I'm just like now... New League starts up. And I usually play with just the new leagues. And I play for like a month or two. And then I just kind of go do something else or whatever. But like even I kind of start to feel the burnout. Because I've played the shit out of this game. <laughs> and I, I can't complain. I got like lots of entertainment out of it. And now honestly the game's better than ever. So I can't really say much. Um... But you know, it's it's I'm just the the whole formula. I, I am starting to feel a bit of burnout from it because I've done like most builds and things like that. So it's like, oh, do I want to roll another duel uh, duelist again? Honestly, I've actually stepped away from spellcasters. I used to just exclusively just spellcasters, and now um, I feel that the game has now shifted me slightly towards not so much spellcasting. But I don't know. It's 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 something within itself. So I'll still be playing this probably most of the time with the new leagues if they're interesting, but. Um, well, we'll see. And as I said, I would still always recommend it. It's kind of like with Team Fortress 2. I felt the same way. I had, like, 3,000, 4,000 hours in it. And then, like, I played it, like, for, like, years. And then, like, just one day I just got burned out from it. And I just kind of stopped playing it. I haven't re quite reached that point yet with this game. But I assume I will at some point. Where it's like, you know, you go you go play it. You go ask, like, oh, do, do you not like TF2? Is that why you don't play it anymore? Well, no. I mean, it's still a good game. It's just you know, it's just I got burned out on it. It's just, I, I played the everlasting shit out of it, and I just kind of don't want to get back into it. So, because I, like, I would obviously recommend TF2 all the time, and so, and I mean, as I said, this is actually really fresh now. For I'm Path of kind of in a similar boat, especially with that game. What TF2? Oh, and I just logged out. Are you there? Yep, you crashed okay. out. I crashed out. Okay. And that is, that is one thing to actually kind of talk about, especially if you're, you know, still got, getting into this. Um, this game is and can be played solo, like if you just wanted to be on your own the entire time. But it does require an internet connection, so that can and... Uh, I mean, can, it's that, free to play, so you have to kind of expect that. So, I don't know. It's, um... It's one of those things. I think overall it's a, it's a good game. I did, as I said, I was... Starting to feel the burnout, I think, lastly, you know, like, well, I, I, I played a really nice, like, uh, Necromancer, support Necromancer, and then I was starting to feel the burnout sort of in the beta, uh, and, and I don't feel it too much now, but I'm, I'm, I'm I know I'm getting there, I know I'm getting there, because it's, it's fresh enough that I'm, I'm kind of stick, sticking with it, but I know I'm getting there, which is why I wanted to cover it for YouTube, uh, because I knew I wouldn't probably do it again, uh, I wouldn't do something like that again, um, Speaking of the YouTube stuff that we're doing here, um, I'm thinking of doing an add-on for this LP when I'm done to basically kind of walk through all the maps just to see how they are. I don't know how much you guys are into this or maybe don't care. Uh, some of the endgame bosses like the Shaper and, um, uh, and I mean, Merc Labyrinth we can probably do as well. Maybe not a, the as a Labyrinth or Eternal. 
I probably won't be doing it on this character, but uh, Eternal Labyrinth we can maybe do. We could probably do a Zuri, but there's also a bigger version of a Zuri, which is Uber Zuri, so, which we were never able to do either, because that's extremely hard. It's got its hard content, let me tell you that. Uh, it's definitely got its hard content in there somewhere. Um, as I said, I could probably do most of that stuff um, as like an add-on to this series, um, but we'll kind of see. I'll play it by ear of how, how I'm feeling with this. And because we'll be playing this on our own, uh, kind of off um, off the LP, because, you know, it's we just don't need to do every single part of it on this one. So um, that's kind of... I guess the idea is I just wanted to kind of cover the game one time and kind of go through the story and stuff on my own. So I'll, I'll see how we go. So this may be the end or it may not be the end. Who knows? You good, Pat? Yep, I'm good. I think we've covered pretty much everything that we can. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'm glad I could share a game I just really like uh, with you guys. So uh, uh, take care and uh, have a good one. Bye, everybody.